Actually, it handles really well with those tires. I'm kind of surprised, but oh, I found the barrier. Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another car restoration here on Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And today I've decided to work on this wonderful looking Corvette convertible that we pulled out of the junkyard. Now this thing is definitely the, in the worst condition of any car that I've pulled into the shop so far, although the interior looks surprisingly clean. It almost looks like it's been detailed. I can't remember if I did that when I brought it back initially, but I don't think so. The rest of this thing is just a rusted heap. So the global body condition on this thing is only like 7%, and the global parts only 10%. It's funny, they call it the, this is called the Bolt Reptilia in the game, but it's, it is actually a Corvette. Uh, and there are different types. So there's like the, the Bolt Reptilia R2 is one that has like a hard top, and I have a supercharged one of those out in the parking area that we can work on another time as well. This one is not supercharged. Uh, however, I kind of wanted to make the convertible one because it looks pretty sweet. So we're going to tackle this one today. Uh, as with most of my other videos that I've been doing lately, we're going to make a trip out to the junkyard first. We'll see if we can find anything else that we can add to our collection in the garage. Uh, we have quite a few things we have to fix there already. But I feel like it doesn't hurt to keep checking because every time I play the game, uh, there's a chance we might find another cool gem out in the junkyard that we can tri fi uh, try to fix up later. Right, back in the junkyard, let's see if we can find something here that might be worth taking back to the shop. Oh my gosh, is that a purple Pinto? <laughs> Look at the paint color on that thing. That, wow, that is this is probably... Okay, so I thought the Corvette might have been the worst shaped car that I brought back to the shop, but this one might take the cake. Oh, 7%. Actually, the parts are at 15%. It's even better than I thought it would be. The Salem Flamo. So I'm pretty sure this is the Ford Pinto. No clue on the year or anything, but I'm going to buy this thing anyway. It's pretty cheap, only $5,900. Actually, our cash is getting down a little low. I'm going to have to start doing some real work again. Or maybe like starting to sell some of the cars that we actually we actually pick up out here. So we've done a number of different restorations, and I'm sure we've gotten some good value out of those cars uh, by fixing them up, but I haven't sold any of them. So, you know, the cash is starting to maybe dwindle down a little bit. The other thing we can do is probably raid a whole bunch of the, the scrap piles that are in here and bring back parts that we can try to fix up, and we can sell those also. This looks like another purple car. So this, uh, I passed on a few of these already, and some people were saying that this is like um, the Clio. Um, and it's apparently quite, it's supposed to be quite the sporty little car. Uh, so I think I might actually grab this. We'll send this back to the shop as well. I probably am not going to keep the original color that it is here, because <laughs> that, that purple is maybe just a little bit too much for me. But that's, uh, that's two new cars we can add that we don't have in the shop, which is great. Um, I don't know that we're gonna find too much else here. There's another... Man, I find these things all over the place. I don't know what the deal is. And the funny thing is, even though I have the the uh, the Mazda DLC, I don't find too many Mazdas. Bolt Cape. We already have one of those. Not that color, but uh, we have one that's in the shop already. Oh, we got a couple things over here. Okay, so uh, those are just junk ones. Uh, not super interested in that. I think this is the Luxor Brown, maybe? Bolt Chapman. Okay, never mind. We have a Camaro already in the shop, so I'm not going to grab that. Uh, this looks like another Bolt Cape. Yep, we don't need that. Another Clio. Man, we this car just does not want to leave me alone. Or wait a minute. No, this isn't what this is. What is this one? Category Katsumoto. It's kind of like a generic like 90s sedan kind of car. Nothing really fancy there. It might even be the 90s. Maybe it's the 80s. I don't know. All right. I think that's all we're going to find out here. So we got a couple cars sent back to the shop anyway that we can work on. Uh, we won't be tackling those right away because I do have a list of other things I want to I want to get into. But uh, let's head back. We'll get started on that Corvette and see how that thing looks when it's all finished. All right. I've already moved the Corvette over to lift number one. And uh, as with all these jobs, the first, the first order of business is really just going to be to strip this whole thing down. Now, I'm going to bring over a couple of the pieces we're going to need here anyway. We'll send over the engine crane. Because uh, we are going to need that to haul out the uh, haul out the engine. We'll send over the, the, the welder so we can fix up the body. And I'll send over the detailing kit so that I don't forget to detail it. Put that over there. Perfect. Uh, so there's not really a lot left of the body on this thing, I don't think. There's quite a few pieces missing. But we'll we'll strip out the ones that are here anyway. I have a feeling there's not, not really going to be a lot on this car that we can even fix body-wise. Because it's in horrible, horrible condition. Um... Man, the only thing we have on the interior here is the steering wheel. 
That was weird. Why did it drop me out of that phase? There we go. It's nice. When you do the interior, you can actually get a good look at all the parts that are in the undercarriage, too. So there's quite a bit of the exhaust missing. Got a fuel pump missing in the back. And actually, you know, all the parts are looking just awful. But that's that's to be expected. I mean, it has a super low... Whoops. It has a super low uh, parts and body condition on this thing. So obviously, there's going to be... There's not really going to be a lot that we can, we can salvage on this thing, I don't think. I don't think this thing has bumpers and fenders and stuff. The fenders are missing on the front. Uh, it looks like there should be like a bumper piece here we can take off, but it's just considering it part of the body, I guess. Not really a lot of not really a lot of parts to strip off of this, which is probably a good thing because that will maybe save me a little money in the long run when we're doing the repairs. Uh, but let's get this up on the hoist. Uh, I should pull off the uh, let's get the radiator out of here while we're here. Uh, we can get our battery out of here. Our brake servo can go. Not really much left of the engine, pretty much just the block and stuff. Uh, the starter is already gone, so I don't have to worry about hauling that out. And it looks like it's one that you have to you have to get to from underneath the vehicle anyway. Uh, so no big issues there. Uh, we'll get the gearbox off so we can haul this out, but we'll also need to get all the suspension and everything ripped out of this. Man, I've got so many, so many pieces of equipment sitting around here now. Who put all this stuff over here? <laughs> That'll learn me. Uh, does it have an oil pan? No, it does not. And that should not be surprising, but at least I don't have to remember to drain the oil. Uh, get rid of this free-floating exhaust pipe that's just hanging in space there. Because, you know, nobody needs an anti-gravity exhaust system. Although, I feel like that could be cool. There's another one here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some bolts of this so I can switch over to other things. There's a weird little graphical glitch in the middle of that drive shaft. Kind of wacky. Get our muffler parts out. We got our fuel tank out of here since we're already under the car. Uh, what else? Gearbox. I want the gearbox out of here so that we can get the engine hauled out of this thing. I think I forgot to sell the... <laughs> I keep forgetting to sell the parts that I, I rip out of the other car, so I'm pretty sure my inventory is getting pretty full. So after we, we run through and try and repair everything we can, I'll just sell all the scrap pieces that I have. Uh, which will include, obviously, some parts that we get off of this car, but then also some of the parts we've gotten some of the other vehicles that I just keep forgetting to sell. Which, uh, I guess is probably a good thing. Get rid of these bushings. Uh, probably we'll need to stock up on bushings again because I never seem to have enough of those when I'm doing a job. I think we'll just start with the front suspension and rip it all out. And then we can lower the car down we can get the engine out at that point, I think. Alright, those four bushings are gone. Time to get the wheels off, I guess, because I can't really take a whole lot else apart until I get this dealt with. Man, look at the shape of those things. What percentage are these going to come off at? Survey says... Oh, it didn't... Oh, I missed it. It was down the bottom left. Ah. I was like, man, I was looking for it up in the top. Yeah, there we go. I thought it would appear on the top left, but it didn't. So weird. The nice thing about doing these restorations is, you know, you, you want to get everything back to 100% anyway. So there's pretty much no point in even inspecting any of the parts. Just rip everything off. Assume you're going to have to, like, repair what you can, and you're going to have to buy brand new for everything else. So it does save a lot of inspection time, at least. When you're doing customer orders and stuff, they always have, like, a required condition for the parts that you're going to put back in it. And you're, you're generally not repairing everything. You're often setting the car up with some pieces that are <laughs> a little bit questionable. But at least with the restoration, you just got the whole thing. Go for brand new. Uh, I guess we can get... No, I can't get the strainer cloth. Oh, that's right. I've got the... Uh, still have the tie rod attached here. So that's the outer and the inner... I won't be able to get the sway bar off until we get the other side, and I accidentally right clicked. There we go. Off to the other side. These things do come apart nice and quick, at least. As a number of people who have worked on cars before have said, it will be really nice if you can really work on a car this easily. <laughs> no grit in your eyes. No having to pound pieces off of the hammer. No using a torch to loosen stuff up. No snapping off bolts. Good times. Not to mention the diagnostics are surprisingly good in this. <laughs> you just run a diagnostic and you just know what the problem is. Funny how that works. Okay, we have uh, both sides of the front suspension ripped apart at this point. Let's grab our sway bar. We'll need to grab our steering rack out of here. Uh, we can get rid of our suspension cross member. Man, look at that. We have a free floating block just hanging out there. On to the back end. More pieces to take out here. 
not sure what tyrants are gonna put on this just yet. I, I almost feel like it would be neat to put like some like big fat racing slicks or something on the back of it. The cool thing with this is you, you can't actually you can basically choose the tires you want to put on stuff. So you can put on like different rims and different tires, and it doesn't seem to matter if you clip into the fenders and stuff. It still lets you do it. So it doesn't really restrict you to, to specific sizes or anything, which is pretty cool. Uh, a little unrealistic, but kind of cool. Which means that we don't we don't have to put the tires that were on this when we hauled it out of the junkyard. We can actually just pick different ones. And I feel like maybe putting some some fat slicks on the back of this thing might actually give us a little bit better traction. Because I have a feeling this is going to have a fairly decent amount of torque on it when we get it all finished. Uh, let's get this bushing out of here. Okay, this side's all done. Uh, I'm going to flip over and rip out the other side. Alright, both the left and right suspension are done. Let's get our rear drive axle out of here. That takes care of the whole whole undercarriage of this thing. Pretty much just a body with an engine block in it now. So let's uh, get this down a little bit lower. Uh, so we can get the engine hull out of here. What's left of it, anyway. Uh, now I'm going to have to redo it. Click too soon. Alright, haul the engine out so it's gone. And we just have, like, we just have, a, like, a rusted little hulk of a body left here. Man, there's a lot of junk I left around this car. That's, uh, that's a pretty sweet-looking ride right there. It's like a Back to the Future flying car at this point. No wheels or anything. Let's fix up the body on this right away. And that way I can get rid of this piece. Thousand dollars to fix up the body of our Bolt Reptilia. Wow, look at that green. Isn't that sweet? That is definitely not the color we're going to leave this car. <laughs> it does look nice. It's all fixed up and shiny and stuff, which is good. Let's get rid of this. Uh, I should probably detail the inside of it, too, while I have this here, so I can charge myself $100 to clean out the inside of my own car. <laughs> Again, not really thrilled about that. Uh, this can go back. Look at that. It's already looking better. That's pretty sweet. Throw, our, uh, throw the engine on our engine stand here. Man, oh man, this thing is, this is just not, not in good shape at all. Alright, uh, we're gonna ro flip this over because everything we need to deal with it is on the underside. And actually, it looks like, looks like we're missing the bearing caps here, even for the crankshaft. Yep, crankshaft's gone. Lock's gone. There were literally two pieces left of that engine. <laughs> That's really bad. But I think it said the block was at like 40%, so we might even have a chance to fix this thing. Uh, I'm going to buzz through all this. We'll fix as many pieces as we can, and then I'm just going to sell off the scrap and see what we get left. There were a surprising number of pieces there I actually had a chance to try and fix. That's pretty cool. So in here, we have tons and tons and tons of scrap. So let's just sell all the junk we have in here. Yeah. Bye-bye, junk parts. Ah, uh, see, the, they, they put out a patch the other day that said they fixed the junk part selling, but all this stuff, I can't fix it. I don't need it if it's in like the, if it's red. I mean, it should be considered junk at this point. I, I feel I, I don't have a chance to fix these parts, but I can't sell them. Kind of lame. Well, it looks like we actually managed to fix quite a few pieces on this thing, which is kind of nice. Uh, I have some parts left over here from when we were working on some other cars, and I have a bunch of bushings and stuff too, so I don't have to buy those right away, which is kind of handy. Actually, these are mostly small rubber bushings. I might have to get some of the larger ones. Because uh, they only have two of the large rubber bushings right now. But uh, I do have the battery from this car also that we can take over. And that will save me a little bit more as well. We can throw it on the battery charger here. That will recover it from like a 32% up to uh, 100%. So we don't have to buy a new one of those. A lot of the pieces, I, I mean, I couldn't fix. Uh, I went through and I manually sold all the junk out of my inventory. So I could at least free up some space. Uh, let's, whoops, grab our battery here. Perfect. All right, let's go get this uh, this uh, engine reassembled over here on the engine stand. And I did manage to fix the block, which is nice. So I don't have to replace that. But, I mean, there's going to be a lot of other stuff in here. I don't think the crankshaft I was able to fix. I was not. So we need a crankshaft V8 overhead valve. V8 overhead valve. There we go. They did some updates on the game recently. Oh, you know what? I should actually buy these uh, crankshaft bearing caps. How many of those do I need? Uh, just three of them. They did some updates on the game recently, and, like, to fix some of the black screen issues and whatnot. I, I, I am finding it seems like it's maybe a little bit more sluggish when you're loading into the different zones now. I don't know if maybe that's just a function of them having added in the new track and some new stuff like that, or whether it's just uh, maybe some of the little tweaks they made to the game, but it does seem like it maybe loads a little bit more sluggishly now. 
All right, that's our bearing caps. We're going to need pistons and piston rings. Uh, we'll need rod caps. We can grab all those easy enough. Uh, we should probably grab the rod caps first. We need eight of these. We're basically having to buy all the parts for this engine because there was pretty much nothing left of it. And I couldn't fix the crankshaft, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see. We'll pistons, we need uh, eight of these. I would buy a whole bunch of the parts for it right now so I don't have to keep jumping in and out of here, but... I'm not entirely sure which pieces it's going to need. I mean, I know we're going to need stuff like um, water pumps and fuel. We need a fuel pump. Actually, I should just uh, I should, should just typed in fuel so I could get the fuel tank because we're going to need that too probably. But um, So we have the fuel pump, uh, the water pump. This is a V8 overhead valve. So it's probably this water pump here. We'll grab that one. Uh, we're going to need a water pump pulley for sure. Uh, we're going to need an alternator. Grab this one. Obviously, we're going to need spark plugs. Grab eight of these. I'm not sure whether this is going to need push rods and stuff yet, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Oh, I'm going to need an oil pan, too. I should grab one of those. I'm gonna get all the pistons put in this, and we'll put uh, we'll get the uh, the rod caps on here, and then uh, we'll have to go back and buy ourselves an oil pan. Okay, pistons are in place. I picked up an oil pan already, so we can stick that on here. I also grabbed an oil filter, uh, so we have that ready. And then once we've got that on, we can flip this thing over and see what else we're gonna need. It looks like I need a I'm gonna need a power steering pump on this thing because uh, I neglected to grab that. That looks like, uh, yeah, power string pump V8. Actually, let me check the crankshaft, too, because we're going to need one of those. V8 overhead valve, that makes sense. All right, so the power string pump is just a V8. Uh, where is that? Power string V8, there we go. And then we'll need the crankshaft, and that's the V8 overhead valve. There we go. No! Oh, was it the crankshaft I wanted? Camshaft. Oh, I just bought a crankshaft I didn't need. Ah. <laughs> Knew I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so uh, V8 overhead valve. There we go. We got our camshaft. Slide that in place. Get our power string pump on here. We need a whole bunch of gears and stuff for all the timing and everything, but I'm going to flip the engine over now so we can finish out the top part of it. I mean, it definitely looks a lot cleaner, but this it's not as, uh, like, just this plain old V8 engine is just not as nice as the ones that are all painted up and stuff. I like the look of the ones that have been painted. Uh, okay, so we've got our uh, fuel filter I should, probably should have grabbed. Ignition coil B we're going to need. A couple of engine heads we're going to need. Let's grab, uh, let's grab a bunch of these supplies here, and we're also going to need cam gear. Okay, I grabbed a whole bunch of supplies here. So we've got our ignition distributor, we can, we can go on there. It's gonna need the distributor rotor. I think I had a cap already. Hopefully that's the case. Yes, I did, perfect. Uh, I grabbed the ignition coil we can stick on there. We've got our fuel filter on over here. Cam gear goes on. Uh, I didn't think to grab the timing chain, but I did grab the, uh, the heads and covers for both sides. We already have spark plugs, so we can put those in once we get the head on here. We'll need ignition wires and stuff. Actually, do I have a... Do I have the exhaust manifolds? I don't. Okay. I thought... It, it's funny. Like, I've managed to get, like, this random collection of, of exhaust manifolds from different cars. I don't know how. I, I think it might be a case of... I, I bought replacements for them before I... Before I, uh... I thought to check to repair them. Because sometimes I do that when I'm working on a car. Rather than, like, popping out and checking stuff, I end up just buying the parts. It's kind of a bad habit. Wasted a little bit of money. But then I end up with, like, these random... There's random manifolds and stuff. Okay, so we've got all of our spark plugs in. The heads are on. Uh, head covers. We're gonna, we're gonna need push rods first. Oh man! All right, so we're gonna need uh, 16 push rods, and then I might as well get the ignition wires for the V8 right now, also. And then intake intake manifold for one carb. Okay, we got all the push rods in. We're on the last couple of the rocker arms. So once we get these on, we'll be able to put on the head covers. Uh, I already grabbed ignition wires, so we're set that way. Get this all bolted down nice and tight. 
I mean, it's it's a nice, clean-looking engine, but again, it would be nice if it had a little bit of color to it. I meant to see whether there's a way that you could actually paint the parts in this. Um, oh, I actually have the... Uh, grabbed an intake manifold as well, so I might as well put that on. Get that all screwed down. Uh, I have not grabbed a carburetor yet, so we'll have to deal with that. Actually, I want to see if you can... Is there an option in here to paint these parts? Someone was saying that there's... Uh, when you're looking at your inventory of the parts, it seems like there's an option in there maybe to, to actually to paint the parts. And I feel like, like the head covers and stuff would be something good to, to paint. I don't... I don't think that's the case, though. I mean, it doesn't look like it anyway. Unless unless you go into the paint bay, there's an option, maybe. But I don't know. I don't really want to... I don't want to mess around with that right now. I'll maybe take a peek another time. This should look pretty sharp when it's all finished. I think, like, of all the engine colors and stuff that you can get in here, I like when you have, like, the red uh, the red head covers or the blue is nice also. Let's get our ignition wires on here. Okay, so we're going to need manifolds. Exhaust manifolds. We're going to need... Carburetor, it's a four barrel, uh, and then of course we're gonna need our uh, our air filter and everything as well. So we'll need all the housing for that. We're gonna need our our timing chain. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of parts here, so we have, we're ready to roll. Hopefully, I grabbed all the right parts. I'm gonna stick the timing chain on here first, and then I grab the uh, the timing cover, which will go on here. Now there's gonna be a, some additional parts that we need to attach to the front here. I did grab the water pump early on. So that should just attach right on the front. There we go. And then I think I, this should be the... Yeah, we have the water pump pulley that I grabbed here. I don't think I grabbed a crankshaft pulley. I did not. No. I'm just going to grab that quickly. Crankshaft pulley. Uh, it's probably the V8 overhead valve because that's where the engine is. Yeah. Again, memory like a sieve. It's surprising I remember managed to remember anything in this game sometimes. Got our exhaust valves or exhaust manifolds on here. Just coming together. It's not gonna take a whole lot more for this engine to be finished, and then we'll have to get it back inside, get all the gearbox and everything going. Our carburetor back on top. Hopefully I grabbed the right air filter components. It looked like I looks like I did, yep. Another exhaust manifold. This is going to be fun to, to tear around with. I think when, when we're all finished building it, I'm going to take it back out to the abandoned airport. Uh, where we've got plenty of room to kind of peel around in it. Again, I'm terrible at handling the vehicles in this game. I don't know if it's just that I'm a terrible driver in it, or the, the, the cars themselves are just difficult to manage, but... At least with the airport, you have, like, you have tons of room just to kind of tool around and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to need... I'm going to need a serpentine belt A and B on this, I would imagine. Uh, let's get back in here. So there's uh, serpentine belt B, V8 overhead valve. So it should be the same thing for the serpentine belt A. And then we're going to need um, the radiator fan on the front of this too, I would think. Yeah, I think I got everything we need. So uh, there's belt B. Then I'll slap, slip on there. Here's the belt A I grabbed. And then uh, the radiator fan, which I got also. Perfect. I think this pretty much finishes out the engine on the stand. Uh, I'm just going to get a quick peek around the outside to make sure I didn't miss any pieces on it. I think the only thing showing the shadow image here right now is going to be our, our, our gear components for the clutch and what have you. So, all right, that looks good. Let's grab it off of here. Oops, got to go. The stand, not the engine. There we go. We'll take our engine. We'll get this back in the car so we can get rid of our crane. Nice. Oop, come on. There we go. Wow, look at that. It already looks better with an engine in it. Still missing most of the components of the car, but we've got an engine in it. That's something already. Okay, so I don't think I was able to fix the radiator, but we'll take a quick peek. Radiator C. Oh, I did fix it. Nice. Uh, brake servo. Was able to fix that. Awesome. The battery we, I think we were able to fix up, so that's good. I think everything is done here in the engine compartment now. Aside from putting some oil in this thing, which I should, probably should do now before I forget. I have a bad memory for that. Oh, I'm going to take that off, not put it on. There we go. Sweet. I could probably get in it now and start it even without even without anything else on it. I wonder if it'll sound different. Can I do this? Will it let me in? I don't think it's good. I don't think it'll let me in, maybe, because I don't have... 
I don't have any seats or anything in here. No. All right. Oh, you know what? I do have seats, though, I could put in here. Technically. Front left seat. So I could put in these two leather seats that I grabbed. And you don't really need a steering wheel in order to, to drive these things. Can I get in? Oh, I can't get in. Nice. <laughs> We've got it on the lift, and it's still all in pieces, but can I start it? Um, uh, no. And then probably because I don't have a fuel tank or a fuel pump in the back yet. <laughs> all right, but that's okay. Wow, look at that. It's already coming together. Sweet. All right, let's get this lift up here. Uh, see what, what parts we're able to fix for the uh, for the suspension on this. I feel like there's probably a lot we're going to have to buy. Uh, and the whole gearbox system I'm going to have to grab also. So I should probably buy those right away. As it turns out, I was able to fix the gearbox itself. But um, the, the pieces for... Actually, I fixed some of the clutch pieces too. How about that? Oh, well. So we got some extra ones, but I mean, with all the jobs and stuff you could do in this game, you should pretty much never, never lack for the need of some of the, uh, some of the clutch components, because they're the same in every car, even when, even when it's front wheel drive. Um, but I did fix the gearbox, so we can put this on. I bought a new starter because this one didn't have one to begin with. Hopefully I grabbed the right one. I just grabbed the V8 starter, and I, I would think that's what it would be. But I won't know for sure. Yeah, starter V8. Okay, perfect. I grabbed the right one. That's probably another reason why the car wouldn't start. There was no starter on it. I wonder what would happen if you try to... Okay, I, I'm really curious. I want to see what will happen if I try to start it without any fuel. But with a starter on it. Will it make like the cranking noise? As though it's trying to turn over but just has no fuel? Or will it just do nothing at all because I haven't finished putting the car together? Yeah, pretty much does nothing at all. Alright, I should have expected that, I guess. Uh, the fuel tank I don't think I was able to fix. But I'm going to take a quick peek back here and we'll find out in a second. Uh, we go back into the mode to put it together. No, I did not fix the fuel tank, but I did buy another uh, fuel filter already. So we can grab the fuel tank from here. We'll get this put in. I can zoom in here. I can put in the fuel filter, so that's good to go. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of the, the back end of the suspension here we might have had to replace also. Yeah. All right, so we're going to need our leaf spring drive axle. All right, we got the rear, the correct rear drive axle now. I wasted a little bit of money there, but I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, realistically, we have, we have cash to spare, and it's not real money anyway. All right, drive shaft is going on, so we'll have that. Okay, looking good. Uh, the shock absorbers, we definitely, they, they pretty much never get, never get repaired, so we can just buy those. I don't know what we are able to fix of the actual springs and stuff back here, but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Just do one side at a time. Spring cap, did we fix that? We did. I only have one, so I must have sold the other one off for scrap. Rear springs, we did not fix. So we'll grab one spring cap and two rear springs. That should get this taken care of. Now the top, I don't know if we were able to get Shock absorber cap, did we get it? No. Man. Okay, that's taken care of. We've got this side. Um, solid axle control arm. Did we fix that? Oh, we did too. Nice. This will take up probably my last two bushings back here. Knuckle housing. We did not get repaired, so we need two of those. Rear knuckle axle, axle housing C. I mean, I think we've gotten pretty lucky in fixing some of the parts in this. There, there's quite a few that... Uh, man, as I say that, I'm running into more parts that I haven't gotten. Uh, wheel Hub 3 we're going to need. There we go. Tell me we fixed the solid drive axle. Yes, both sides too, so we don't have to buy any of those. We're obviously going to need to buy the actual like brakes because the, the discs are pretty much always shot. You never fix those. There we go. Yeah, that was fixed up perfectly. Actually, all four of the... Brake pistons got fixed, which is good. Okay, so this side here, we just need the wheel on at this point. Uh, I'm going to put the other side over here together. This is pretty much a mirror image of this one, and we'll have to deal with the wheels after. It just occurred to me I forgot to put the leaf spring plates on this side, too, so we'll get that taken care of. I think I might have fixed a couple of these U-bolts. Oh, yeah, I got tons of them. I think I bought some for the last rebuild, and we ended up fixing the ones I took off, so we ended up with extras. All right, all set on there. Let's get the other side done. 
Okay, our rear suspension's all back together again. We just need the wheels taken care of. Uh, but let's get some of these, uh, some of the exhaust system done back here. So now we're gonna need rear muffler V8, OHV. I didn't fix any of those, of course. Uh, okay, so rear muffler, V8, overhead valve, middle buffler. And then front exhaust pipe A, also for the V8 overhead valve. Get all these stuck back on here. We'll have our exhaust all finished up, which would be great. Uh, and then we'll just basically need to take care of the whole front end of the car, I guess, at this point. All the suspension are there. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to buy some more bushings, because I think I used up the last of my regular bushings. I have some of the small bushings, but we're going to need definitely some regular size bushings at the front here. Um, I think we fixed this cross member. We did. 100%. Nice. But now, now we need bushings. Okay, all four of the bushings are on the cross member, so that's set. Uh, did I manage to fix the steering rack? Oh, I did. Nice. Uh, the sway bar might... The sway bar I don't think I've ever fixed. No. So we need a front sway bar B. Front sway bar B. And we pretty much always need the tie rods because they never get fixed. Uh, so we need two outers and two inners for that. And we might need the sway bar front and links as well, but... I'm not going to buy them until I see for sure whether I do or not. Uh, let's see. We've got our knuckle housing. I think I fixed at least one of these. Oh, nice. I got both of them. Perfect. Bottom suspension arm. Show me the magic. Yes. Both of those are fixed, so we'll save a little money there. How about the upper suspension arm? Oh, I didn't buy the shocks yet. Nice. Got both of those fixed, too. Wow, we actually fixed quite a bit on this car. That's, that's some pretty good savings, at least. Uh, knuckle cover, those are all good. What about our wheel hub? Yeah, fixed both of those, too. Uh, the wheel hub bearing, they never get repaired. And it looks like we're also going to need some ventilated brake discs as well. Okay, I got our wheel hub bearing. We can stick that in. I also got some ventilated discs so we can get the front brakes on. We already bought pads and we were working on the back. Calipers, did we get all four of the fixed? Ooh, we didn't. I need calipers. Now, I did notice that the, the pistons are good, so we have two of those, but I'm going to need two calipers. I also bought all the components for our shocks on the front end here, so we can put those together after we get the rest of the suspension ready. And I preemptively bought some wheel hub caps, knowing that oftentimes I can't fix those, and it turned out that way again. Front end leg B. Yeah, that thing never gets fixed. I don't know what the deal is with that. So we bought our front end leg B. Yeah, that's all done. We just need tie rod ends here. And then I'll be ready to deal with the shocks. And then off to the other side of the car and we'll get all that finished. So aside from the shocks, I think this side's all done. So I might as well get those glued together now. Just bought all, new, all brand new parts because I pretty much never fix anything in the shocks. I'm not sure why. It's funny that some of the things you can fix in the cars and some you can't, but whatever. Grab that one, and we'll get the second one together, too. In terms of our tires, oh, you know what? I think I, I might have sold them off. I don't even know what tires this thing had on it. That was probably a bad idea. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just, maybe we'll put, like, some, I don't know, some 17-inch rims on this thing. Something fancy. I don't know. I probably should have paid attention to what I had there before I got rid of them. Um, yep, I sold off the tires before I took a look at them. Oh, well. <laughs> we're just gonna muddle through it, I guess. Just put on whatever feels good. Yeah, there's our shock absorber. All right, I'm gonna get the other side of this taken care of, and then that'll finish out the whole undercarriage. The only thing we'll have to deal with is the wheels and the body. Okay, the undercarriage is all finished. We've got all our suspension in. We pretty much just need wheels and a body on this thing. Look at that. We actually have... It's starting to look like a car again. There's a little more to it. Now it should be able to start, since I have a fuel tank. I have our starter... We have our fuel pump. There she goes. I swear they all kind of sound vaguely the same, but maybe it's just because of the types of cars I'm, I'm choosing to build, but that's pretty sweet. All right, so it does run, which is good. Uh, we're going to need body and wheels. Let's see. In terms of wheels, we can pretty much pick whatever rims and tires we want on this thing, I guess, now. Uh, I'm going to do go with 17-inch rims on it. But what, what kind of rims should we pick here? I want something that looks kind of cool. Maybe like a modern rim? I don't know. Man, there's a lot of choices in here. I wasn't entirely expecting that many options. 
all right, so I guess we'll go with... Um, All right, let's go with Modern Rim 4. These are kind of neat. I'm going to go with 17-inch ones. Uh, we'll grab four of these. Hopefully, it's no issue to put these things on. I'm pretty sure you can choose just about anything you want to. And then we'll go into the tires. Uh, and we're going to want race tires on this thing. Actually, race tire B, I think, is what we're going to go with. Stone Tech. I think it, these are the tires that were on it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll need four of these. I'm going to go with 17-inch wheels. Uh, we'll go with... I don't know, 255 width and 65 profile? I don't know. It's kind of a lot of money to spend on tires, but I don't know if it's actually going to work for how I want it to, but I'm going to put all four tires the same just now, and then maybe later on what we can do is do a little modification on this thing. We'll put some, like, fat racing slicks on the back of it or something and see what that looks like. Get these all balanced out. I'm going to grab all four of the tires, and we'll get these on the car. Uh, and then we'll get started on the body. Okay, tires are all ready. Let's get these strapped on the car. I'm really curious to see how these fit, because I just kind of... <laughs> rim Retro 03. So, all right, so it had retro rims on it, but I'm putting on moderns. I guess it doesn't really matter all that much, as long as it fits. And I think... Uh, these might actually be slightly large. <laughs> I might put I might have put tires on here that are bigger than the ones that were on here. This might be interesting. Okay, I gotta see. Is that fitting? Oh my gosh, it's like jammed like right up there into the wheel well. <laughs> I think these tires I got are too big. Oh, I really should have paid attention to what size tires this thing had on it. I could probably just go out to the Bolt Reptilia R2 that we have in the in the garage that's supercharged and see what those ones look like. But these tires I put on here, they're looking pretty fat also. I don't know how this thing's going to handle. <laughs> I might have created a monster. Oh yeah, those things are huge. Look at that. It's actually, I think it's actually clipping into the, uh, into the body of the car a tiny little bit. I definitely should not have picked, <laughs> I should not have picked tires that size. That's okay though. We'll uh, we'll make do. Like I said, it doesn't really seem to stop it from from like going together or driving or anything. So I'm pretty sure we'll be good. Uh, I, I went ahead and bought all the body parts as well, so we don't have to go in and buy those. So we're all set that way. Um, so we'll get all the rest of the body on here, and then we'll be finally be ready to give this thing a nice paint job. I'm not really sure what color I want to go with just yet. I might have to look at a, at a couple different colors. I mean, this green is kind of cool, but I don't know. It's not not really. Not really growing on me. Oh, this thing had the license plates on. I need to take those off and make sure they're up to snuff, too. Can you fix the license plates in the car? I don't even know. I don't think I've ever tried. And, it, you know, there was a point where I was repairing body components that I don't seem to be able to re repair now. So, it's entirely possible if I take these off, I won't be able to... Oh, no, they're not on there at all. <laughs> so, I get it. So, we need license plates. Let's see, we've, we've gone with a couple different states already. Let's maybe, uh, let's find another one. Something that looks interesting, maybe. You know what? With all the hurricanes and stuff going through Florida, let's get some Florida plates on this thing. Custom? You can do custom plates? I hope I can spell. Hold on. Let me check this out. We can put class. I didn't realize you could you could customize the plate. That's awesome. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it's a simple thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god! I, I'm gonna have to go and customize all my plates now. Um. Okay. Why can't I? There we go. Look at that. Cryptic Florida custom plates. Okay. Let me check the body condition and everything on this thing now. I feel like I might have missed something. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Oh my gosh. I... Oh no. Alright, so global parts condition is 98%. Body condition is only 95%. What am I missing? There's something in here that I repaired that maybe didn't get all the way up to 100% uh, when I was doing the parts. Oh, you know what? I don't have a steering wheel in it. Let's try that. Maybe we put a steering wheel in here. It'll actually... It'll... it'll uh, Acknowledge it. What's going on? No, come on. Normal. Open the door. <laughs> Why can't I open the door? 
Ah, oh, well, whatever. Uh, let's go into uh, let's go to the steering wheel options. You know what? I even I might even have a steering wheel still. I already put seats in it, so we pretty much just need the steering wheel. Um, I want something that looks kind of cool. Steering wheel rotilli. Oh, actually, there, it has the rotilli steering wheels. I wonder, is there one that's? It has the rotilli R2 steering wheel, but I don't see one that's. Just for the Reptilia, and when we took the car apart, it didn't have a steering wheel in it, so it's not like we have a reference point. Alright, I kind of like this one here. That looks neat. It's kind of a racing style steering wheel. Should let us put it in there. Okay, now let's see what it looks like now that... Oh no, I put the chain steering wheel on. That was not exactly what I intended. I forgot I had that thing in there. Uh, all right, get that stuck on there. Back to normal mode. All right, now show me the good magic. Oh no, global guard parts condition 98%. What did I miss? There's something in here that doesn't have perfect condition. I must have used like, are you kidding me? Oh, okay, well I'm missing the, p the clips, so that would explain that. But why is it not even recognizing the piston rings? I completely rebuilt the whole thing. I forgot, the, I forgot the clip B's again, though. They're supposed to go on the distributor cap. I need two of those. I hope it doesn't give me any issues that it's not recognizing those piston rings. I would hate to have to pull the whole thing apart and redo it. That would really kind of stink. It's funny that it just, like, it gives them a condition of, like, unknown, but... Alright, we're 100% on everything now, but it's still showing the piston rings with unknown condition. But it is acknowledging that it's 100% body and 100% global parts. I do have the restoration bonus on here, which is okay. All right, she's in good shape. Let's get this into the paint base so we can get some color on it and uh, possibly some, some livery and then take it out for a little spin. I still don't know what color I want to make it, but maybe uh, we already did a blue. Oh my gosh, we could make it like, like some crazy kind of purple. That would be just disgusting. <laughs> oh, actually, it looks pretty nice in white. I don't even know why I would do Oh, okay, that's, that's for black. This doesn't make any difference if you're gonna go with a white car. Let's see what the livery looks like on this thing. Oh, it's got like a crazy like waffly pattern sort of thing. What about this one? Oh, that looks pretty nice. Or the white stripe. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with the white car with the red stripes. Uh, we'll go with, change this thing to a metallic. Paint the car. Oh my gosh, it's got an animation now. <laughs> That's new. We didn't have that before. It's got a very weird color tone to the sign of it, but that looks pretty sweet. Is that, I think it might be part of the livery that gives it that kind of like silver siding. That looks pretty awesome. Wow, okay, I'm gonna send this out to the front. Maybe we get a little bit better of a better look of it when it's not in not sitting in the paint bay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I love those custom plates, too. It's funny the writing on the custom plate is green. <laughs> it's like kind of an ugly looking green. All right, so it, it looked in the paint bay like it had a different color sides to it, but it actually doesn't. So it's just the white coloring with the, with the red stripes on it, and that looks pretty sweet. I definitely need to take this out for a spin. Let's head out to the airport track and see how this thing handles. Well, it definitely sounds nice. I love that rumble. Look at that. Out in the sunshine, that looks even better. Although those tires are absolutely wrong. <laughs> Look at those things. They're so huge. They fill up the wheel wells. All right, I clearly should have gone with 16-inch ones. That was a big waste of money. Uh, I mean, I can ultimately use them on something else at least. But, man, I, I'm going to go check out maybe the Bolt Reptilia and see what profile tires it has on it. It looks really nice and shiny out here in the sun, too. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. Sounds like power. Actually, it handles really well with those tires. I'm kind of surprised, but oh, I found the barrier. <laughs> Again, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't drive while I'm looking at the front of the car. I don't even know. I don't know if I can make this thing slide if I wanted to. That's crazy. Those tires are giving it some sick traction. <laughs> it might also be slowing it down. Oops. 
might also be slowing it down because those those tires are really fat. But look at the way it handles. I mean, it sticks to the road with these things. I mean, I'm not going very fast though. I mean, it's got to be slowing me down. I think I'm only getting up to like in the straightaway. I'm getting up to maybe up what 160. Actually, no, it's going. That's yeah, pretty good. A little more than 160. <laughs> I was gonna try and slide it around there and make that make that hard turn. That would have been nice. I was going a little too fast, though, I think. All right, I'm gonna shoot this thing through the shops and then try to do a nice little sliding turn up the other side again. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> oh, look out! Camp review is kind of messed with you a little bit, but this has been fun. Another nice looking car. This is this is really sharp. Another nice new car we can add into our into our little parking garage. Another one we can mark off the list as being completed. It's actually really hard to make this thing slide. <laughs> I can hit it reverse and crank the wheel over, and it kind of does a little side slide, but I can't get it to come all the way around. Which is funny because with the Dodge Charger, it was so greasy. I was spinning it all over the place. Alright, well thanks everyone for checking out the video. Uh, I'm gonna come back and probably do a live stream again for the next uh, the next rebuild that we'll do. And I think I'm gonna do the Mustang Fastback that we have sitting in the shop. I really kinda wanna get that one finished and, and see what it looks like when it's all when it's all polished up nice and new. Well, thanks everyone for checking out the video. Uh, if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, certainly consider clicking that subscribe button if you enjoy the videos. Come back and check out some more. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.